This is Michelle Newman. And we have... Good morning. Hi, Michelle. It's Jan Stracone here joining you for a meditation on a very important topic. A very. And we have... Oh, yeah. Well, good morning. I'm glad to be joining you as well for this very important topic. And the three of us have been healing with each other and truly creating an intention for healing, transforming, and transcending the vows of poverty consciousness that many of us have taken. Jan? No, this is so important because we're here doing our work in the third dimension, and many of the light workers are just confused about how to have the material resources. So we thought we could energetically go in across the timeline and dissolve those unconscious vibrations that have been keeping people stuck in receiving. And we are especially focused, we have been for ourselves, on the many lifetimes of poverty consciousness that we have vowed for, as well as uh, the group of beings who walked with the Essenes and those who have it so embedded in their soul, cellular structure of forever taking a vow of not dealing with our currency flow. So yes, yeah, somehow they think you're more pure, or we have this sense that you're more spiritual, you're more pure, if you don't have abundance. But now we just know that that doesn't really work and we need to be more practical. So we created this um, meditation today. So it shouldn't take too long. About how long will our meditation be, Michelle? I think just a few minutes, five minutes or less. Perfect, good. So we'll we'll recalibrate. Uh, we'll recalibrate that deeply for people today just by simply getting ready, sitting up straight, and uh, closing your eyes and going in deep with us as we do this uh, sound healing work together. And let's all take a really, really, really deep breath. <sighs> Excellent. And two more. Okay. Two more breaths. begin to still our minds, and we ask and intend to set a sacred space. We ask for our families, the beings of light, to come and be here with us now. We ask that only energies of the highest light be with us as we begin this meditation, and we imagine over the top of our heads is a brilliant ball of divine light vibrating, holding the perfect, specific formula to release, recalibrate, and heal some of these vibrational roots that are even part of our unconscious driven behavior. Take another deep breath. And out through the mouth. Yes, you go. We are releasing from our genetics. We are releasing from the deepest cellular, cellular, akashic record level. We are releasing from our consciousness, our group consciousness, our individual consciousness, our conditioning, all the the loops of words that run in our head from families, both in this life and before, especially from parents and core wounding in this life. We are releasing, we're taking energy, I'm literally taking a ball of energy out of my heart, out of my solar plexus, 
and throwing it out the window. I see as I'm pulling things out of my body, I'm throwing it out the window. I'm releasing, I'm helping it, I see it flowing like a river. Yes, this is a wave of cleansing, purifying energy that allows to release at the cellular level, the nervous system level, and we are replacing it with a new vibration. This new vibration is a receivership, reciprocity, allowance, resourcing, abundance, all that the Creator has brought to be available for you to do your work. And it's a group consciousness that we all hold each other in the light of flow, the flow of abundance, the flow of prosperity. And Jan, we learned something recently that the um, gematria, the numerology of the word money has some issues and that using that M word is probably not the best choice and that it's better to refer to it as currency because when you see currency, you feel the flow, you feel a flow of being in the current, the current of life, the current of cosmic energy, the current of abundance and prosperity, the current of of oceans and rivers and Mother Earth flowing, the current of all the all the waters on our planet and all of the internal liquids that flow within our body. Yes, the feminine flow, the resources that there is abundance enough for all. We're repairing this circuitry now within ourselves, going out and repairing the archetypes of the thought forms and the mass consciousness to shift all of the systems, all of the structures that balance and hold these resources for sustainable future initiatives for all humans on Earth. So allow this to go through our bodies and flow through powerfully, for this is real. We can manifest from these new vibrations very, very powerfully. Just allow it. There's nothing you have to do. To surrender and allow these vibrations, this washing, cleansing, purifying, little wiggly waves. If it hits against any of these instances, just take a deep breath and let that myism just let go. Yeah, and Jen, I'm actually standing up, and I just love when you said the little wiggly waves because it's this stuff is also more than our consciousness. It's stuck in our body, and I am wiggling. I'm literally wiggling my body. I'm shaking my behind. I'm shaking my shoulders. I'm shaking my head. My spine is moving like like the snake kind of up and down and just rising out the energy, and I'm shaking it out my legs and my toes, and it's very important to be physical with this. Um, for me, I know it's really important. And to just shake, shake, shake that physical body so that as you're doing this consciousness work, we're also shaking it out of our physical being. Fabulous. It's like a resonance, a geometrical resonance, and other beings in the world see a resonance, so if you have the old vibration, that's what you get. And what we're just like in the Wizard of Oz, oil can, oil can. This <laughs> is lubrication is spinning the geometry, so this sparkle and this receiver shift and this willingness that you've always had to give is now coming back. You have a basket to receive. You have an openness of reciprocity. Indeed, and as you say that, Jan, I'm getting this image of a vortex spinning around me, and the vortex, um, it's got a point at the bottom of my feet, and it's open like a cone to the top, and there's a spinning energy, and it's both spinning out, outwardly, the spiral, spinning out what I don't need, and as the open cone, the light and the energy from the heavenly and galactic realms are coming in and so it's like it's like feeding feeding the healthy well being prosperous abundant energy and spinning out what isn't needed and it's all happening at the same time. That's my image around myself. It's like a green dream. So let's give a note to how to make practical some of the things that will be coming in. Um text text in the mail. Gifts, support, 
from sources expected and unexpected. Absolutely. Gifts of love and time. Mmm, I love that. Mm -hmm. Gifts to ourselves of nurturing, body care. It's all part of the picture, receiving. Surprises. And laughter, laughter and fun and fun. Joy and happiness and delight. And when you when you think of your bank account, when you think of your wallet, when you think of your statements that are in the mail that need to be received and sent back, energy in, energy out, just laugh. Love and play and go, oh boy, am I lucky? I must have really good credit to be able to receive all these things. I must be really, I know that I'm as wealthy and abundant as it comes because people who aren't don't have bills. <laughs> so I'm very lucky and full of grace and, and I am so lucky. I've been, every time I get a bill in the mail, I look at it and go, lucky me. They trust me. <laughs> I am trusted because I'm receiving this. And lucky me to have a, a post office box and a home for it to come to. Yes. And you're magnetizing more, of course, by what you're focusing on. But now let's move ahead and feel the feeling of celebration for funding projects that are in service. Celebration of beautiful, sumptuous dinners, holidays, and celebrations a beautiful, successful event full of drama and color to shift the consciousness for the planet. This is allowing more abundance to come in by giving gratitude and thanks as well. Gratitude and thanks. That's what it's all about. Gratitude and thanks. And thanks for the marriage of the divine masculine and divine feminine within us and for picking our rational minds and utilizing them in support of our deep intuition and the deep feminine that is coming forth in this time for the birthing of the new time that we are all entering into together in community and in love and in joy. And thank you to Eliyahu for being such an incredible priest and supporting the feminine energy that we are all embracing. It definitely strengthens it. I see it as we're weaving a new braid of reality with all the right fibers and essences, and it's balancing for all of us. Thank you, Eliyahu, for stepping up and being such an articulate, present uh, essence of the Divine Masculine at this time. When the women are being called to step forward through the voice of their intuition and lead from a very soulful, divine place. So we thank you for, for being courageous and being right there with us, holding that container of masculinity. It's so important. You yes. are ever so welcome. It is my great joy and service and delight and bold function to be doing that in this lifetime, and I am grateful for the opportunities. And the right, cycle. right now, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, Jen. Oh. oh, no, you go ahead. We're so a jubilant. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Eliyahu and I are holding hands, and we're putting our third eyes together, and we're just merging our divine feminine and our divine masculine. And as we're holding hands, we feel as if we're holding hands with everyone, everyone who has walked in grace, in, in joy, everyone who has carried the light, everyone who has walked in the Essene way, everyone who is listening right now, everyone who needs this, who's not listening, we're sending it to you, and we're all holding hands in an incredible braid of connection and light and deep flow. Yes, it's, it's union. And union through the masculine and feminine uh, enhances the uh, envelope for union with the divine. And within our own self, uh, those that are listening in that are solo, your own masculine and feminine can just lean into each other and languorously uh, blend and be this alchemical birthing of your divine love for yourself. And this is all part of this receivership of abundance of what the Creator 
is bringing more and more of into our environment, our life now, through us as awakening individuals. So my, my toes are tingling, so I'm wondering <laughs> if there's energy gone through my entire body so we can anchor it in the earth and allow the loving generosity of Mother Earth to come up through us, waves through us, and back up through the top of our heads, connecting us up into Creator Source. So now we have this entire circuitry set. Indeed. I feel it too, Jan. And I do as well. It's truly the marriage of heaven and earth and a golden wedding ring of love and abundance and prosperity around Mama Gaia and all of our hearts. And and another uh, image that came to me when you were talking about feeding oneself the divine feminine and masculine within is also for those who are single, at least in on this planet, <laughs> if you are not in relationship with another being, also following the integration as Jan was, was speaking of, and then sending that through your heart to everyone you see, to men, to women, to all beings that we see, and just sending that light out through your heart and just say, I know I am in relationship with each of you. And and with all life. And that I am connected with every being. And so, therefore, I am not alone. I am in relationship, and I feel the energy moving outward through my heart chakra to every being I see. Absolutely. They don't call it the harmonic conversion for nothing. <laughs> it's a vibrational synchronicity and harmony. And this year, in fact, in this moment now, we have reached a point of convergence. I think it's so beautiful, this point to periphery, and every human heart now has its potential to potentiate the entire container of this new love essence around the earth. This is a Absolutely. wonderful time to be here. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. And I'm feeling yes, energy <laughs> so uplifted and so high right in this moment, Jan. It's like we have yes, really raised frequency. <laughs> and like, probably time for us to, let's, shall we play the crystal ball? Yeah, oh yes, yes. Maybe a little bit of toning and invite people to tone in also to make their intentions for their abundance uh, as they listen. Indeed. Do you, would you like to, do you want me to start with the bowl first? Go right ahead, start with the bowl, and we'll just tone in and... Goodness. 